What's up guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you a video of working on an ice machine that is not making ice basically. Um, the, the cycle for the ice making was really short so this is just some of the steps I had to uh, take here to fix this machine and figure out what was going on with it. So here you can see I got my short gauges hooked up and taking my custom pressure here. And then I got my other one right here taking my liquid line off of my discharge pressure. And here I'm pulling amperage on the compressor as well as getting my uh, suction line temperature. Uh, this is where the ice is made here in this little cube here and it just trickles down um, through that pipe there. This is the board here I'm going to be working with on um, the time it takes to make the ice. Basically it works off that little blue tensiometer there you can see at the center of the screen. A little set key there uh, makes me adjust the amount of time that the uh, ice machine can make ice. Um, basically how long it takes to freeze water. I'm not keeping my mind. And it's just looking. This is my water temperature here. It's only about 40 degrees right now. We're going to let this unit run a little bit longer. Today. So here we can see that I'm um, trying to show um, this unit as the temperature gets colder pressure gets goes down as well with the temperature. So the compressor starts to draw less amperage. So I know when this um, compressor starts to draw less amperage and the, the uh, temperature is low, I'm getting ready to drop some ice. I'm like getting ready to go into a hot gut bypass and start dumping ice. And a little bit while back there you saw the uh, water temperature was down to about 34 to uh, 35 degrees, so it's almost freezing. Uh, we don't want the water to freeze though, we just want to fill them up so when it hits that coil, that it'll freeze the coil. This ice machine works by uh, freezing layers of water. So basically what I'm waiting on here is as the amperage is going down and the temperature is going down, it's going to drop the ice. And you'll hear the, uh, the, the bypass click in. And here I'm going to show you this line right here, pay attention to that, that it's frosted. Um, Basically what's going to happen is when this goes into its uh, hot gas bypass, the amperage is going to go up and the temperature is going to skyrocket. So you'll see here we're at 5 degrees and it's down to like 3 degrees at least before it goes into the bypass. It, we're at uh, 8 amps, almost 9 amps, and the temperature right now is at 4 degrees. When it goes into the bypass, the uh, temperature skyrockets and the amperage goes up. So we'll just wait for that to happen here. There we go. We're going into bypass there. Temperature's going up. What's happening is the compressor discharge has just went through a different valve and is heating up the coil that the ice was just getting made on. You can see there that line is no longer frosting and it's sweating. Um, that's because we've got hot gas going through that line now. And here you can start to see the ice melting away from the grid. That's what the hot gas bypass does so we can melt the ice away from the grid so it drops. And it does this until it drops out of this grid here and out of that little pan. When that pan flaps open and closes again, there's a little magnetic switch that uh, tells the ice machine basically that, hey, I've dropped my load of ice, start the whole process over again, and bam. This whole process took me about uh, three hours to get this thing to finally drop a good the ice consistently so anyways so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed that video and also after uh taking my suction line and liquid line temperatures and getting my superheat and subcooling it was determined that this machine was also a little bit undercharged so we had to add a couple ounces of refrigerant and we were able to get this thing um working properly so we'll see you in the next one